This is the Pro Trigger Electronic Ignition. This unit fits CB77 model motorcycles. All electronic ignitions from Pro Trigger function in the same way. They are magnetically latching. Well, what does that mean? This is not your typical Hall Effect type sensor that needs to be spinning at a certain RPM in order to make signal. Magnetically latching means that this is a true on-off switch and functions exactly like a set of points that are driven by a magnet. Let me show you what I mean. On these two lines, I have 12.2 volts supply voltage. Let's take a look at that. There, 12.2 volts, just like our bike wants to see. Now, I'll ground this plate as it's grounded to the motor and supply 12 volts power to the ignition. One of the triggers came on. What this is doing is opening and closing the circuit as directed by the force of the magnet. When the LED light is on, the circuit is open and it is sending power to the coil. It closes when the magnet comes in close proximity to it and it will stay in that open or closed position regardless of whether the power of the motorcycle is applied to the switch or not. As this magnetized rotor spins and the magnets pass the appropriate coil, it will open or close the switch and give you a true on-off time. Here's the on time, and here's the off time. This is your dwell time. This allows your coil to cool and allows your bike to function just like it has a set of points in it. A set of points that's never gonna go bad, that's never gonna wear out, and never come out of adjustment. So how does this work on the bike? Let's take a closer look. I'll set my meter to audible ohms. So when these two test leads touch, we'll hear a sound. I'll clamp one lead to the 12 volt power supply and the other to the yellow coil. This is the output of the forward coil. Currently, this switch is not allowing any power to pass through this coil. Now power is passing through to the coil. The magnet shuts it off again. The coil is not energized and power is being passed through the ignition system. So you see this is a true on off switch, just like your set of points. This is exactly what your bike is expecting to have run. It doesn't need any other CDI boxes or any other control boxes to work. Just this magnetized rotor, and this magnetically latching switch. That's it.